Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my everyday carry or what's in my tech backpack. And I'm um, starting with a backpacker choice here. This is the Brevity Jumper Backpack, which you can get from Amazon for about $170. And the main reason why I love this backpack is because it's quite simple and not as conspicuous as other backpacks that show that you carry a ton of tech inside. This is a really simple backpack plain colors and um, it has this camera compartment. I'm going to get into that in a bit. So starting with um, my main computing device of choice, that would be the M1 Max Mac Pro, which has um, 32 gigs of RAM here and a terabyte of storage here. I pretty much use this for light editing because most of the videos are edited in the studio and not on this machine. So it's pretty much for making thumbnails and light edits. Now the next computing device of choice here from the same compartment is my M1 11 inch iPad Pro. By the way, this MacBook here is um, a 14 inch MacBook, but here is um, my 11 inch iPad Pro, which is also an M1 device here. I have the keyboard for it. So I basically use this to respond to emails and um, do some light work and stuff in the web with this one. I also have Procreate here to throw out some, you know, sketches and all that. So that's my second computing device of choice here. These are pretty much the only computing devices except for my smartphones. But next up here, I have a YouTube. Um, notebook and also a pen for times when this can come in handy so these are the things you get from this compartment in my backpack that's that so let's go over to the next compartment this top one here so from this top compartment here i have oh, a face mask for times when i want to take a quick nap in the afternoon i never knew i had this here a memory card i haven't opened an adapter a type c cable and adapter i don't know if you guys can see this now, this is one of those things that really come in handy when you need them. This is an adapter that has a lot of um, connectors here and also acts as a card reader. So when you push this open, you can see that there are slots for different card sizes or yeah, micro SD, the full SD card, different card sizes here. And with that, you can connect this to your PC and read from the card that's placed in here. Also, this is type C to type C and you can convert this to any kind of connector. So from type C, you can take this out and turn this into a lightning connector. You can take this out and turn this into a micro USB. You can take this out and turn it into a USB type A. So you have about six types of combinations on this card reader. There's also a SIM ejector tool. It's just that one tool every techie should have in their backpack. You can also store lots of cards on here. Just place them in here. Micro SD, the full SD, different types of card on this um, stuff. So pretty much this is a storage item, a card reader and also a connector, extender, converter, whatever you call it. So let's set that aside for now. And next up here would be, oh, I found a couple of things. These are ear mufflers or what you use to muff your ears from noise when I want to take quick naps. And this other device I have here actually shows the amount of charge um, a device draws when charging these devices. So the way it works is you connect this to the device you want to charge and you connect your charger here and it displays how much charge is being drawn by this guy here, you know, the wattage, the current, the voltage and all that. Next up in this compartment is um, a token from my bank for transactions and I also have an Apple AirTag here so I can easily track my bag if it's um, misplaced or something but it's always in here, I always have one in all my backpacks. And that's about, okay yeah, there's a flash drive here from lightning connector to regular um, type A connector. And that's about all we have from this compartment. Now let's move over to the next compartment here and that would be this compartment. From here you can see my Sony 1000 XM4s. I've had this for about two years now and they are some of the most um, or the best noise cancelling headphones I've ever used. Really good sound quality and I can't do it without these guys. They are always in this backpack so let me set them aside for now. And um, next up, we find a power bank here. This is from Orimo, about 25 or 20,000 uh, milliamp hour. Let me check to confirm. The next item you find in this backpack would be my charger combination. So this is an in-charge connector. It's actually a six-in-one connector. So as you can see from here, this has a type A to lightning connector. And this also can serve as a um, type A to micro USB here. When you pull this apart, you have a USB Type-C to micro USB or lightning connector. And taking this apart is a Type-C to Type-C, and this is a Type-C to Type-A. That's about six in one connection. And the most amazing thing about this cable here is the fact that this is really sturdy and it's about two meters long, which is um, 6.5 feet long. So that's about it. My best 
cable I use for everything on the go. And with this cable, I'm able to charge my iPhone, all the devices in my backpack, my headphones, and yeah, basically everything I have in this backpack. And my charger of choice here is my Anker GAN Prime. I think it's a 150 watt charger with three USB-Cs and one type A connector here. And with this charger, I can charge my MacBook Pro as though I'm using the main charger that comes with this MacBook Pro. This is 100 watts port here, and this other one's charge other things in this backpack. Now, next thing you find here is um, a card reader from Anchor. I no longer use this that much since I got the M1 uh, Max Mac Pro because it has an SD card slot and um, yeah, I can use other things to make my connections. This is quite redundant in my backpack now, but it's always here and for those times when I might find it handy. So still in this compartment, you'd find some other devices I might be testing at the time or some devices I really love. And for now, this is the Oppo Flip device you can see here and this is actually my pixel 7a so these are two other devices you find in this backpack here so that's about it for here nothing more oh no i have this little compartment where i place my earbuds of choice and i have the airpods pro second generation from apple and i have the airbuds pro from samsung Setting these aside, you'd also find my T5 um, 4 terabyte SSD. I really like this for on-the-go editing and all that. It's really tiny and quite fast for production and all that kind of stuff. So this is here. And also some micro SD cards and adapters to read these cards using my MacBook Pro. So that's about all we have from this top compartment. Now it's time to move over to my camera compartment to show you the gear, the camera I carry every day. You can easily access your cameras from this point by the way this whole clip they have on this bag here makes it possible to throw this zipper through here and impossible for someone to easily open your zipper and take something from this backpack so that's a really nice addition for this backpack with that out of the way with this compartment here you can easily access your camera from this position the camera i have here but let's open it from the top so you can see how um, this is arranged on this backpack. You can also access it from the top here. This second set of zippers here. And so in here, you'll find my camera of choice, which is basically the Sony a7 IV. Before now, I had the a7C in here, which is the one I'm using for this top-down shot now. But because this was a better camera, better body for the things I do outdoors, I threw in the a7 IV into this backpack. And by the way, we have the Sony FX6 here, the Sony E7S3 here, I'm basically a Sony guy. This is a Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter lens. And I also have this Sigma cage on here with um, quick release plates, so I can easily place this on tripods when I need to. The next thing you'll find in here would be an extra battery here for the camera. You'll find a microfiber cloth to clean things up, you know. Now, this is one item I barely use. This is the GoPro Hero 11. It's always in this backpack and I actually thought I had need for this one, but I barely use this, this guy here, but it's just here when the need arises. Next up here is a Rode microphone, which I usually would place on the shoe mount of this camera here and also connect it to the jack um, port for the a7 IV, just for vlogging and all that good stuff. That's about it. That's about all you find in my tech backpack. And this video wouldn't be complete without me talking about the devices I carry in my pocket every day. And my Android device of choice right now is the Samsung S23 Ultra. And my iPhone of choice right now is the iPhone 14 Pro. I don't really like the S23 Ultra in terms of the size. The perfect size for me is the iPhone 14 Pro. But the device I use the most is the S23 Ultra because I'm an Android guy. I have my main team here and the iPhone is just like a backup device. Now the next thing I have in my pocket would be my car keys which has an air tag here so I can easily find it and also this has um, this 6-in-1 connector just like the main one I have here but a very short one which comes in handy every time it always does. It has the same number of connectors 6-in-1 all those type C to type C lightning connector to type A and all those other kind of stuff. I always have it latched onto my um, my keys here and that's about all I have for my everyday carry what's in my tech backpack what I carry every day my EDC I'll have links to everything in the description box below let me know what you loved about my everyday carry and things you think I might improve on in the next um, everyday carry series I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section below let's converse down there also do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already what are you waiting for I'm gonna catch you in the next one Kobe that day